Changing the color of an object over time in Adobe Premiere Pro is actually very, very easy. In this tutorial, we'll gradually change the color of this van. So let's jump straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. For the gradual color change effect, we need to use an adjustment layer. Go to your project panel and click on the new item icon, choose adjustment layer and click OK. Drag the adjustment layer on top of your footage and stretch it to the correct length. With the adjustment layer selected, open up the Lumetri color panel. If you can't see it, go up to window and choose Lumetri color. In here, scroll down to the curves panel. To change the color of an object, we want to tweak the hue versus hue curve. This curve allows us to select a color or a hue of our footage and change the color of that color. For example, the hue versus saturation curve would allow us to select a hue and change the saturation of that hue. So we can either use the eyedropper tool and click on a part of our footage or click on the curve line to select our color. I find the eyedropper to be a little bit flimsy at times, so don't be scared if it just doesn't work at all, because sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate. To be able to tweak only a single color, you need two anchor points around the selected color. This will make sure only the selected color gets changed instead of affecting the whole curve or the whole image. This is also why the eyedropper creates three points instead of just one. To get a better result, you might need to expand your selection, but this all depends on your footage. Dragging the anchor point of your selected color will change the color of your object. And that is literally all you need to do to change the color of an object in Premiere Pro. However, we now have one big issue. The sky and the woman have changed colors too, so let's fix that. Go over to effect controls and once again, if you can't see it, go up to window and choose effect controls. And in here, you can create a mask for your effect to mask out all the areas you don't want to affect. I'll choose the pen tool and create a very rough mask around the bottom part of the van just by clicking a few times around the edges of the van. I'm not being very precise here because I can always tweak the mask later on if I need to. Once your mask is completed, you are now affecting only the area inside the mask, but because there's motion in our footage, we also need to track our mask. There is an automatic tracker in Premiere, but it won't work while using an adjustment layer, so this has to be done manually. Click on the stopwatch icon next to the mask to create a keyframe. Then move further down the timeline and adjust the mask as needed. Premiere will automatically create new keyframes for you at this point. Keep on doing this until you are happy with your mask. But now that we have changed the color of our object, we're now going to animate it to change over time. And at this point, it's very easy to do. Once the color tweaks are done, you need to make your adjustment layer track a little bit larger to reveal the opacity line. You can do that by hovering over the track on the left side of the timeline and scrolling on your mouse wheel while holding down Alt on a Windows or Option on a Mac, or just by double clicking on the track. Now all we need to do is animate the opacity of our adjustment layer to go from 0% to 100%. So let's grab the pen tool from the toolbar and create a point around where we want the animation to end by clicking on the line with the pen. Next, let's click and drag down on the line to create a new point and bring it down to 0% around the beginning of the clip or wherever you want the color change to start. You can always tweak these keyframes if you want to edit the duration, beginning or the end point of the animation. And that is how you change the color of an object over time in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a very easy but quite a cool effect. And did you notice that my shirt has been changing colors throughout this tutorial? Anyways, that is all I have for today. I hope you learned something new and I hope I will see you in the next one.